Hello, welcome to Minecraft with Dr. Samsey. Today I will be doing a plugin tutorial. Now this is very long because it's actually quite hard. It's, it gets easy once you know what you're doing. But if you're a noob, you will have no idea. No offence. But, okay, so I want to remotely control my server um, with like a mobile app. And this app is called Adminium. It's really good. I will show you on the Apple page as well. It's for iOS devices, like iPad, iPod, iPhone, basically things like that. Now, it's really good. You can set up permissions so only certain people can do certain things on the app. Access files, modify files. It only allows you to modify files in this, in the d root directory and the subdirectories in the root directory from the server. So, when have anyone rooting through your public documents? Okay, so... What I'm going to do is we're going to need to download it and put it in our plugins folder because it actually is controlled by JSON API. So you go to mcjsonapi.com, link will be in the description, then you click download JSON API. So then get the version. So you'll need to get the version for your version of Minecraft. So I've already downloaded that, but if you're doing 1.7.2, which I, is the recommended for me, I think. I recommend version of Bucket, but some plugins don't work at 1.7.9, things like that. This is the last available beta build. So you'll click download, but hark, I've already done this. So I'll go into downloads, and I'll click this, and click back. So then you'll need to rename it to just straight JSON API, otherwise it will not work. So like that. Okay, so it actually has some other dependencies. One needs is protocol lib. I recommend this. It allows you to do quite a lot of things. Okay, so then you click download. Oh, I've already got it. So then I go into downloads. Then you basically just on oh, no, L and downloads. Then you just basically copy and paste it in into your folders. You don't need to rename protocol lib, only JSON API. And the last one is Vault. This you can add currency to people in the app as well. Okay, so imagine oh, I don't have this file but I do, so I'm gonna download it. And you just paste it in. Okay, so you should look like this, you can have other plugins that work with it. Okay, so now I'll need to start up the server. This is the really intense bit which is boring. Okay, so it's just basically starting up our server, creating all the files we need. There we go. Oh, 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 there we go. Okay. So we're going to need to port forward it, otherwise it's just people outside the house are not going to be able to work. There we go. Port 2. So these are all the ports you're going to need to forward. This is similar and things. Now you're going to need, go into the server, properties. Now you're going to need your server IP, so remember that. Just note it down. So I'm going to remember it because I've got a good memory. I'm not being biased. Okay, so you'll generate all these files. Another one you can have is Dynamap, Remote Toolkit and things. I've not found this. It's just like impossible to find because it's not actually an official plugin. Dynamap is good because you can actually visit it. Oh, damn it, doorbell. Okay, so my server is in unsecure mode. Yes, and I do not care if you find my IP because I'm getting new internet, so it will not matter. Okay. So, what we need to do now is we need to have some fun port forwarding. So, you go to 192.168.0.1, it should be something similar to this. Just get to your router page and go into security, login. Okay, so now we'll need to add some services. Okay, so it should look like this because I've only got my MC server port forwarded. So, now I'm going to do add custom service. And the name can be JSON API. I've already done this before, but I deleted it just for your benefit. Again, now you'll use TCP slash UDP. 
then you'll need to do 2059. There we go. This is the port that JSON API, the main structure of it, listens on. There we go. Okay, so now what I'll need to do is I'll need to add another one. So I'm going to call this JSON API too. Okay, so then you just go through these ports and then you add them. So 20061, each of them do different things, run different sort of mini servers. So like, there we go, in the stream server, this is the console. I think this is basically where you like add files and things. Oh no. Oh. Oh no, so it just died. Oh well. Okay, so for us now be 20061. And this is a bit of a pain. It will take a while. <coughs> Sorry about that. Okay, and then you do apply. So we've got JSON API, JSON API 2. I'm going to need to do as one more service. 20060. Okay. So we have basically added 20061, 20060, 20059. You can't run your server on any of these ports, or else it will not work. Okay. So there we go. TSS. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so now what we need to... No. No, if you just died on me. Oh. Oh. Stop. Damn it. I think we just internet crashed. Oh, there we go. We're back. Okay, so now what you'll do is go into firewall rules. I'm going to close these. Because I do not need these. It's starting to murder me. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to add an outbound service. So then you do add. Now you need to find JSON API. Allow always. Any, any, never. So basically, you just select your thing and you add it. It's very easy. No, 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 no. Did I do it at the time? I, I made a mistake there. So you need to do allow always. Now JSON API to access it on Adminium will only work when your server's online, otherwise it will just not work. So now you'll need to do there we go, JSON API free, add always, apply, never. Okay, so we've got always there we go. Now you need to do add inbound service. Now this is where you'll need your IP4 address. Okay, so then you do send to LAN server. So basically, send in all requests that want to access JSON API to your server so it can log it and things. <coughs> so for us, it's 192. I'll just get it out. 0.168. E, E. 0.0.20. Yes. And then you do any. You don't really need to log it. So you should have something simple on it, but I just got it there. Okay, so you need to apply. So you'll need to go through doing this for each JSON API. And we need to do JSON API too. I think it was that. Okay, so there we go. So it's relatively easy once you get the hang of it. This is a great app. You can even modify people's inventories, which is really good. Okay, so there we go, JSON API free. Okay, there we go. So now we've got all that. Let me do apply. Okay, so now we've successfully pulled forward it. So now you stop your server. Eww. So now we need to restart the server. 
Oh, I've got a horrible cough. Okay, so there we go. Starting up the server, generating it. Ow, shit, eh? Something happened to 20060. I'll have a look at that. What have I done wrong? Here we go. That's what I did wrong. Got to put an IP for address in. So now I'll have to start the down server again. Down. Okay. And start it again. Okay, so there we go. So now we've got everything. There we go. So there we go. Port 2059 is properly forwarded and externally as accessible. And that's chopped off because of the strange way CMD works. Here in this window, you need to fix it. Um, 2006. So it's all properly for forwarded and now it will work like magic. Okay, so I'm going to log on to Minecraft. Okay, so while it's doing that, I will show you the app. Adminium. E. There we go. Okay, so this is the app. It's, it, it does cost quite a lot, but it is worth it. I guarantee you, you will love it. Okay, so it gives you like stats and things and all that. Yeah, so it allows you to modify people's inventories, modify files, there we go. So now it has that. Okay, so. Now, if we try and get some images up of it when we send up Minecraft. Okay, it does not come up. But basically, what you do is there should be a main page, and then it says add server. Oh, no, that's. Um. Yep, and there should be a main page, and then you do add server. Then it should say something like, I'll type it out actually. Okay, shouldn't, there should be something like um, IP or whatever. In this, you'll need to enter your IP, or the remote IP, so and then you go to like, what is. Or whatever. I'm getting new internet, so I don't care what you do to my IP, because it's not going to be my IP. Because say, okay, so now you'll say, please enter the IP of your server, and this is slightly deceptive. You'll do the IP of your server. But instead of port 24565 or whatever you enter on Minecraft, you need to do 20059. Okay, so then it'll bring you up to like a login screen. So uh, the default thing it generates, so now we've got the folder, is it will generate these users. So then you log in with the username admin and change me. You can change this with these, you can create various groups, like this one allows you to do chat only. You can add various, it allows you to do it in the app as well, so, good. Okay. Yeah. There we go. No. Okay, there we go. So, now, we are on the server, man. So, something to do is also slash JSON API. Let's do slash help JSON API. So then it tells you all these. Slash call admin is really good. <coughs> if they have JSON API and then they've got push notifications enabled, whenever you do this, 
basically alerts all admins at whatever his name is, has sent them a message requesting them, and this is highly customizable and things. It's it's, it's w nothing. You you see nothing. Okay, so guys, I hope that was clear, precise, quite short, and I hope you enjoy that quick tutorial. It is a really good app. All links I've shown in the video will be in the description, and I will see you soon, guys. Bye. Both power.